I'm Father Hugh Gillespie of the Company of Mary. I am serving presently as the National Director of the Association of Mary, Queen of All Hearts in the United States, and also the Director of the Shrine of Our Lady of the Island, from where I am speaking today. The Shrine of Our Lady of the Island is in fact dedicated to Our Lady as well under her title of the Queen of All Hearts. and. Right around the same time that the Association of Mary, Queen of All Hearts, under the direction of Fathers Roger Charest and Francis Tomai, began work on the publication of Queen of All Hearts magazine, the first issue of which was released in 1956, around that same time, Fathers Charest and Tomai, as part of their work with the Association, had the vision of a shrine dedicated to Mary, Queen of All Hearts. And the following year, land was donated for the realization of that dream and that goal, which did become the beautiful sanctuary from which I am speaking today, the Shrine of Our Lady of the Island, dedicated to Mary, Queen of All Hearts. It is only right then that we take advantage of the dramatic and beautiful backdrop provided by the imposing statue of Our Lady presenting our Lord from the top of that enormous rock, here where we celebrate Mass, to speak as well about the related mission of sharing the spirituality of St. Louis Marie de Montfort that has been undertaken and ran for over 50 years in the pages of Queen of All Hearts magazine. Those of you who are presently active members of the association are aware that just two years ago, we here in the United States began the process of publishing once again Queen of All Hearts magazine in a digital form. We're in fact standing on the doorstep of our two-year anniversary. And in that two-year period, we were able to produce 150 articles from the back issues, the pages of the Queen, so that this marvelous treasury of spiritual insight and formation would not be lost, but could ha be handed on to present day members of the association, so that even today, the voices, the words of Father Charest, Father Tomai, Father Gaffney, and the other Montfort Fathers who labored so hard to impart a full understanding of a healthy and solid devotion to Our Lady might still continue to teach. One of the striking elements in the history of Queen of All Hearts magazine, and one of the reasons why we chose this location to share these reflections, is the imagery, the artwork, the artistry that was regularly found on its covers. Standing beneath this imposing granite image, we also reflect on the beautiful colored images, where the great works of the Christian tradition were reproduced for our readers over the years, so that the magazine imparted not just a sense of catechetics, not just a sense of theology regarding devotion to Our Lady, but also by taking advantage of the rich artistic tradition, uh, history that the Catholic Church has provided by providing a sense of the beauty of the faith, and in particular, the beauty and the glorious beauty of our Blessed Lady. The covers of the Queen regularly featured stunning and striking images, prayerfully composed, either taken from churches which they adorn, or other settings often showing Our Lady and Our Lord in their intimate relationship, and in particular, that marvelous way that Our Lady presents Our Lord to those who come near to her. Likewise, the covers of the Queen of All Hearts magazine through the years engage the liturgy of the church, often showing tender scenes of the great tradition of artistry around the nativity, 
or most compellingly, in fact, the passion of our Lord, showing Our Lady through whom Jesus comes into the world as being that new Eve at the foot of the cross, the mother of all the truly living. And why would that be done? Because the association, like our founder, Father de Montfort, has long taken very seriously that instruction that the Lord gave at the foot of the cross, saying first to Our Lady, behold your son, but then to those disciples whom he loves, that command, behold your mother. And the artistry on the covers of Queen of All Hearts magazine was at the service of that beholding. Behold, look and see her greatness and her goodness. And as we do that beholding, one of the other wonderful aspects of the magazine was the way it also communicated visually important elements in the history of the Company of Mary and the life of Father de Montfort. Not the least of which is this reproduction on the cover of a statue that St. Louis de Montfort himself carved with his own hands. This image that adorns the house where he was born in, in France, in the chapel there. Carved by Father de Montfort as a reminder that Father de Montfort himself was not simply a compelling speaker, not simply a great preacher, not simply a tireless worker and a holy priest. He was a man whose soul was captivated by the beauty of divine mystery. And he made it a point to share that beauty, not just in his words, but with the artistry of his hands and the fuller talent that Almighty God had given him. Part of St. Louis de Montfort's own, I am all yours, and all that I have is yours, was this use of his very real artistic skill in the service of his apostolate to win hearts and souls to the Lord, not just by the words of his preaching, but by always holding forth the beauty of the faith, the beauty of a life fully alive, united to Jesus, living in Mary. Likewise, on the Queen, from after the end of St. Louis de Montfort's earthly life, when Father de Montfort was himself in 1947 canonized by the church, a marvelous painting was produced for that day which hung outside St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. And this is a reproduction of that very beautiful painting. Father de Montfort in an ecstasy, beholding Our Lady, presenting Our Lord to him. And note the lesson. He who was so willing to gaze, to spend time gazing in contemplation on the beauty of the way that Christ comes to us through Mary, became one who was able to communicate the fruits of what he saw. As Our Lady opened his eyes to the beauty of life united with her son, so was he able to open the eyes and the hearts of so many. We are delighted, not simply to mark a two-year anniversary of our digital republishing of the great articles from the magazine's history, not only to make available again this rich history of the church's artistry by means of the covers of Queen of All Hearts magazine, we are delighted at the thought that now so many others have the opportunity to unite with us and with Father de Montfort in gazing upon the beautiful mystery of Jesus living in Mary, of Jesus who comes to us through Mary, with Mary, in Mary, and by Mary. And in doing so, asking Our Lady, the Queen of all hearts, Our Lady of the island, to open our eyes to the full light of that beautiful and glorious mystery, that we might live it, that we might know it, and that we might share it. The Lord be with you all, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.